Aloha. We're going to do a deeper dive into how to bring more relational health to that garden, that space between you and your beloved, you and your partner, you and that person you spend the most time with by tending to your part in how you show up. So if you watched the videos last week, I did a few videos on the April showers, the things that kind of rain down on the space between. I introduced you to the concept of the blame game, which those of you who know me know that's a very different game, <laughs> toy, plaything than what I usually work with. I usually work with the three golden ground rules, no shame, no blame, no criticism. And last week, I just invited us to turn and go right into it. What is it that you blame your partner for? What is it that you blame yourself for? And can you get it out of your magnifying mind, write it down and release it? I asked you to think about how you show up, those positive ways and those unpleasant, not so positive ways. Put it on, <laughs> kiss me, I'm impatient, I'm irritable, I'm, hmm, I don't have to think too hard. I'm impulsive at times. Own your part in how you show up in the space between. I also encourage you to turn frustrations into appreciations. I asked you to do the stretchy spiritual work of praying what you most want for yourself, for those beloveds around you. Think about it. What's possible? What might work? So today we're going to think about what are the May flowers? If April showers brought a certain level of precip, precipitation down, what do we want to see emerging? Loving connection, a sense of respect, a sense of validation, a sense of belonging, a sense of unconditional positive regard. These are a few ideas. So again, I'm going to draw your attention to how you communicate. And we're focusing a lot on the verbal communication. And I'm well aware that 80% of what goes on in the space between is nonverbal, if not more than 80%. We pick, on e uh, we pick up on each other's vibes, so to speak. And it gives us all the more reason to pay attention. Pay attention. <laughs> what is the story you're telling yourself? And what are you about to say to the other person? So pause. Wait. Try WAIT, and WAIT is a wonderful acronym. Why am I talking? WAIT is what I'm about to say going to bring greater unity to the space between. Is what I'm about to say, do, or think going to bring us closer together or create more sense of separation? Is what I'm about to say, do, or think going to bring greater what it fill in the blank? What is it you want? Respect, unconditional positive regard, belonging, worthiness, love, connection. Is doing what I'm doing going to help promote that? That's what you get to pay attention to. That's what focus on your own orbit, your own constellation in your own orbit is all about. You cannot control the other person. You are not responsible for the other person. And dare I say, you are not responsible for what other people think of you. What do you think of yourself? What is the story you tell yourself about yourself? When you put your head to the pillow tonight, do you trust that you've done a good enough job? I've heard it said, the issue is not the issue. It's how we relate to ourselves while going through the issue. That's the issue. I think I said that last week. It's really something that stu stood out to me <sighs> as a place to put my energy. So wait, why am I talking? Is what I'm about to do, say, or think really going to get me where I want to go? That's what I leave you with today. Take care. I'm Amy Elizabeth Gordon. I'm your relational health coach, relationship doula, your guide from the side here on Hawaii Island. If you're interested in doing intensives with me, if you're interested in hopping on some Zoom calls, doing a heart storm to drop the pin where you are in your relationship right now, reach out to me help at amyelizabethgordon.com. That's my address and I'm here to serve. Thanks so much. Aloha.